hi, I'm a generic, safe film that had potential, but I didn't take a goddamn risk, so you shouldn't bother watching me. Thank you. Good night. So I went to Redbox, and I rented four movies. I want to talk about them. So I've watched two so far, and I got two left. In case you guys haven't been able to do math your whole life, let me explain things for you. This movie talks a lot about that, though. Let me tell you what. One plus one doesn't always equal two. Or does it? I don't know, but it's brought up in this movie about 76 fucking times. So, this stars Josh Stewart. Now, this is one of those movies. Yes, Josh Stewart from The Collector, The Collection, The Neighbor, freaking Dark Knight Rises. Love Josh Stewart. He's the reason I gave this a chance. This has a horrendously generic cover, so I don't think almost anyone's going to give it a chance. And I threw it on, and it was, you know, like 10, 15 minutes in, and I was like, this is well made. This is looks like a nice high production value. It's got some good actors in it. It started to build some creepiness to it, some atmosphere, whatnot. And I was like, all right, this is cool. It's, you know, it's paint by numbers. I know I use that phrase a lot, but it is. It's, it's just kind of going through the motions, but I'm like, all right, you know, maybe they'll take risks. Maybe they'll do something different. Maybe, no. And then they also have really silly ass scenes. They also have really lame CGI that's like noticeably bad CGI. <sighs> the film is a frustrating watch. I just don't understand why people make films like this still. Like, <sighs> you've seen this movie a hundred times. So why do they keep making it? What's the fucking point? Like, if you have a budget, like how do you even get a budget? When, when somebody reads this and is like, oh, yeah, I've seen that movie 50 times. Let's make it again. I just don't get it. So there's this couple that moved to a new town. Uh, the husband is a professor and the school's trying to get him to teach there. And uh, they give him this really nice house and he's, you know, confused by why they would give him so much for his talent. Um, and when they uh, get there, there's a housewarming gift, which is a fertility box, which cannot be opened. But when the wife opens it, strange happenings occur. Um, as I said, I thought that the performances in this were mostly good. Um, some recognizable faces here, especially Josh Stewart. Um, some setup. I don't want to reiterate. I just... It's annoying. It's annoying to get movies like this over and over again. I, I just... I honestly don't get it. Like, I can make a movie just like every other motherfucking one I've seen. Good for you. It's like a resume or something. Like, have you made a stock film yet? Yes, I have. All right, let's watch it. Yep. You fucking hit every single beat. You checked off every fucking box. Take a risk. Take a fucking risk. Try something different. Fail miserably. But try something different. This is what I talk about on my channel all the time. I will berate films that are fine. This movie's fine. This is a horror movie for people who don't really like horror movies. Or maybe it's like the first one they ever fucking watched. And they'd be like, oh yeah, this is decent. This is good. You know, whatever. It's fine. It's just so fucking predictable. You've seen it all before. And I just don't get it. It's produced by Josh Stewart, too. And he's in The Collector and The Collection and The Neighbor. Those are all pretty risky, interesting, unique flicks. Why? This has an R rating. It's got some decent talent. You get to see some boobies in it. I, I mean, that was nice. I, I have to stretch for positives here. Outside of just bland, generic genre filmmaking. 
All right, I'm bitching now. I, I just, I don't get it. Take a fucking risk. It's much better to try something different and fail than just go down the list, mark all the boxes, and say, hey, I made a fine film. A fine film sucks. This film sucks because of it. Anyways, let's move on.